Hey guys, welcome to another Unity tutorial and this is going to be the next part of the C Sharp series and it's going to be focusing on how to access functions or methods and variables within other scripts. So I will give you a, a basic example, I'll just run through my example. So we've got a box here which is going to act as our trigger. So I'll go through that what we're going to do is we're going to have something that controls our health. So in your game you might have different scripts which control different functionality. So let's imagine that we've got a script which controls the health. Now we don't want to have lots of lines of code in that health so when we collide with something we do damage. We could have another script which controls how much damage we take and then it updates that health script accordingly to whatever damage we've taken so that helps us just break the scripts apart and have it in a nice sort of orderly fashion so I'll give you an example so I've got a FPS controller here and it's just tagged player what I've got is I've got my damage object here which is going to be this rectangle I've got a box collider on it and I've got it as is trigger if you need to create one you can go game object 3d object and cube and I've also got an empty game object called health manager you can right click in the hierarchy click create empty and it will create you an empty game object and when you do that all you want to do is on the transform you can just right click and click reset just so it's centralized and then what I've got done is I have given that a tag of health manager because we're going to sort of reference this and I'll show you a few ways to do it as we're going along and I will actually you know remind you as we go through so all you need to do to create a new tag is you can just add new tag and write it in as health manager and then you choose it from the list there. That was just the basic setup and this is just a way to visually show it so you don't need to have all this set up like this but if you want to follow through you can. So what we'll do is we'll start by right clicking and we'll create a new C sharp and then we'll call this health manager and then what we'll do is we'll open up in Visual Studio and once we're there we'll get rid of the two starting methods and we're going to just start by writing if we ever want to access something from another script it has to be a public variable because we it needs to be able to be seen by other things then what we want to do is we can set this as a float for instance or it can be an integer it doesn't really matter we'll call it health and we'll set it equal to 100 and now we should be able to access that variable and update it when we need to in the other script now there could be a function that we need to or a method that we need to access so we can call we can do it in the same way we can say public void and we can say update health with two capitals and then two brackets and then two curly brackets below there and this can be a method where we're going to just do something to the health so I'll quickly write something in because I'm going to use the unity UI so we can update something on the screen so I'm going to say at the top using unity engine Dot UI and you don't have to use this this is just to show you a visual way and I will just write in square brackets serialize field private text because we're going to access a text UI and then call this health UI with a semicolon so what I'm going to do within our public update health I'm going to choose that every time I call this method we're going to actually update what is in the UI so then we can say that health UI dot text because we need to access the little sort of text component which is on the UI then we'll say equals health dot to string in brackets zero in quotes and then a semicolon and all that means is that in that health UI the text component in there we're setting we're giving it the value of health which would be 100 right now and we're setting it to a string and zero is just a way to specify that it's just um, a whole number and the reason why we have to convert a string is because a text field in the health component of the UI is a string value and this up here is a, a number or a float and it won't be able you can't put a float directly into a string so you need to convert it to a string but it doesn't matter for now like I said this is just a visual way to show it that's all well and good you only need to really remember that you make a variable public and a method public and then you'll be able to access them what we can do back in our scene again we can go right click C sharp and choose damage object and then we'll open up that in Visual Studio now once we're in here we'll delete the starting methods and we'll just have what we're going to do is we're going to have a I'm going to write serialize field and serialize field just allows us to see a private variable in the inspector without making it public so we'll say private health manager and this is exactly as health managers spell in your script health manager and then we'll just have health manager again but this time lowercase so this is just going to be our variable which is going to hold the health manager we're going to also have another square brackets uh, serialize field 
and we'll set this to private float and we'll call this damage. So we're going to specify a value. Then from here, we can start by writing void start and then when I press tab, it completed it for me. So it's a private void start because if we just specify something like this void, it just makes that it's private and those in the other script were public. Once we're here, we need to try and find a way to access this health manager because we need to specify it in the script. Now, what we can do is let's say we go to the health manager here. We just drag the health manager on to our health manager game object. We go to the damage object and we go to and drag the damage object script on there. You can see that health manager is looking for an object which is health manager. So what we could do is we could just drag health manager straight into there and it would find it automatic. It would find it for us. So there's no extra code to write. That's a very viable way to do it. Now, if you want to do it all in script, you can say that health manager with the lowercase equals game object dot find game object with tag. Don't make sure that it isn't game objects. It's just the one without an S. Then we can say in brackets in quotes and we'll look for a tag which is health manager like we specified earlier then we can say dot get component and we'll write two angle brackets and then specify the health manager which is the um, one that's the actual script you can see that when we hover over them they're linked and we can write two brackets and a semicolon and what this means is that as soon as this script is executed it will find the health manager automatically with that tag that we specified and it will find the component on there which is this health manager script so it means that we wouldn't have to drag it in to the inspector every time it just find it for us to do any sort of damage we might want to do a trigger event so we could again do a void on trigger enter and it automatically fills this in for me so private void on trigger enter then in brackets we can say collider other and we can then say that if other dot compare tag in brackets is player in quotes we can have two curly brackets below there we're just saying that if then in the brackets we've got other dot compare tag and then we've got player inside quotes and brackets and we'll end the bracket at the end just to encapsulate it all because you can see all these ones are the brackets are linked when I click on them then we can say that we want to actually access the variables and things. So how we access that is we use this reference here, this health manager reference that we created with the lowercase h, we'll say health manager dot health. And because we've referenced that health manager already and health is public, we get access to it as we're doing this um, autocomplete. We can write health and you can see we can write health or update health. So we get access to the method as well. We'll say that health and we can say that minus equals damage with a semicolon. So what this means is every time we'll go into the trigger, the health manager will update the health by the specific damage value that we give. Now, also in a similar way, we can say health manager with a lowercase dot update health. And we're going to be calling this method. We add two brackets and a semicolon, just as we would if we were trying to call any other method that might be in this script. And it will run this method here. So in this health manager, you can see that health is currently 100 and all I need to do is add my text component there, the health text, and it will to help me display it. My damage output, you can see that what I can do is I can get rid of that for now. So you can see there's nothing in there and it will find it automatically. I'll say that when we run into this trigger, we'll say that we'll do damage of five. When I press play, you will see that it automatically found the health manager for us. We've still got the damage of play and we just need to, in the health manager, write a, just a start function to update the health as soon as the game is actually built out. So what we can do is we can press play again and you can see that up in the top, you can see that that's the UI is updated and we can see that it's 100. You can say that the damage object has automatically found the player manager via that tag that we'd already created and we've got a damage of five when we could choose to go into it. You can see that the health manager has 100 and it's got a tag of health manager and that's how it's been able to find it. Now, if we walk into this trigger, you can see that when I walk through it, you can see that health went down to 95 and so did it on this side. You don't need to have this UI here. It will always go down in there so you can see it. So as I keep walking through, 
it keeps going down and you could obviously get rid of this trigger with maybe a set active if you didn't need to use it again every time you've got it because it, so it could be an explosion which does damage to your health over time. So really the fundamentals of it are if you've got something like this, the health manager, variables that are public or methods that are public if you need to access them elsewhere and that's fine. Then in your other script that you want to be able to get access to those variables, you can either, um, you want to create a private reference to the script that you want to get access to. You can drag the game object that you require to get access to this into the inspector or you can write a simple line which says that the, we're looking for the game object with a particular tag and we're, we're going to get the automatic component which is the health manager and then from there you can write the shorthand which is your variable name dot whatever variable or function you've got and there you go you can access as many functions variables that you need to within other scripts so Hopefully this helps you out and thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.